In 2008, after years of public course play, 61 golfers with a dream joined the brick companies to privatize the golf club at South River. Nearly 10 years and hundreds of members later, the golf club at South River is one of the most pristine golf clubs in the area. Join us as we talk to some of the members, the staff, and even one of the founding members as we discover what makes this club the choice for our Annapolis area neighbors. Hello, and here we are at the end of our short series about a local business that you might not have known about. Over the past six weeks, we have dug into the golf club at South River and brought a bit of the links to your ears. And this week, we're going to wrap it all up. This is John Fernay with Ion Annapolis, and I am out here at the golf club at South River today, and we will be joined by executive chef Frederick Daniel and fitness director Jesse Cooper. Up first, we have Chef Daniel, and since I am a horrible golfer, this is the segment that I have been looking forward to because I know how to eat. <laughs> Chef Daniel, how are you? <laughs> I'm well, thank you, sir. Good. I'm happy to see you got the eating thing all, all wrapped up and buttoned down. I, I do, great. and that's obvious. And we love it when that happens. <laughs> well, we'll see if Jesse, if Jesse Cooper can whip <laughs> me into shape there or anything like that. But you've got a wonderful restaurant called The Bistro. Absolutely. On the first floor of the clubhouse. Absolutely. And uh, I guess it's the second floor of the clubhouse. But what, what's your background? What brought you to the golf club at South River? Oh, my, my background's in uh, platinum country clubs. I started off in, in terms of clubs. I started off at the Baltimore Country Club uh, running two culinary operations. Uh, lifestyle change in regards to getting married and having kids and wanting to be closer to home forced me to migrate a little bit closer. Uh, had a friend out actually in uh, Richmond who wanted me to come out and do some interim work for him. His executive chef was ill, so I, I went in at the Country Club of Virginia and uh, interned for them for four, four months or so. At that point, I got a call from Golf Club at South River, and I came out, and everything's history since then. So. And there it is. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the things that we've always mentioned in every one of these episodes is how this is not the old stuffy grandfather's country club. Not at all. And Not at all. You don't have a dining room. I mean, it's, it is a dining room, but I don't think it's referred to as the dining right. room. And it's, uh, do you find the food is different here as well? I mean, is this different than a— You know, I, having worked in top 25 ranked, nationally ranked country clubs, I can tell you for a fact the food, in term, uh, from a casual standpoint, is universal. Uh, in, in almost every club environment I've been in, uh, whether I've worked there or I have visited other chefs, uh, the burger rules today. You know, you're no better, in fact, than your last burger. It's all about the casual experience. The frou-frou experience is really no longer in vogue, if you will. There are elements of it at play in almost every menu. Uh, chefs have pride and they want to put a little piece of themselves in it. Uh, but definitely being able to cook a, a good burger at the end of the day it is everything. There's nothing better than a good burger. Yeah. Absolutely. We've begun to adjust our thinking in regards to what we're offering uh, through member surveys and, and getting more of a, a pulse on what the, uh, a good, the, the good cross-section of our membership wants to experience. How, how often do you change up your menu? We change it seasonally. And what's your favorite dish on the current menu? Oh, wow. You know, I get asked that a lot, and it's like creating kids, and someone points out at a field where you have five or six kids running around and say, which kid do you like the best? Oh, I know which one's mine. You just, right, you right can't the kill them off. You just can't. I mean, how do I kill? Which kid do I sit down? I love all of it. We put our heart into everything we do. If I had to pick a dish. All right, like, all right. Let me phrase yeah. it a different way. If somebody was coming in here to try this restaurant, try right. the bistro for the first time. Absolutely. What dish is it that's going to bring them back the second time? The burger. Okay. The burger. It's a custom grind. Uh, secret grind, if you will. Uh, I can tell you it does have brisket. All of our elements in it are all natural and hormone free. So short of that, I can't tell you anything else, but it's a great burger and, and definitely something I, I put beside any anyone's burger. But people won't eat rockfish on a daily basis. Chicken tenders, burger, a great grilled cheese, a great soup. Things like that typically will spark members' uh, 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 ability to want to be here. In addition to the bistro here, yeah. there are an awful lot of events and weddings mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. Does that fall under your purvey as well? Absolutely. I, I oversee the events operation as well as the, the a la carte food service operation. I can tell you year over year, a la carte sales as well as member events have gone up. We've seen an exponential increase in terms of member events. So members really want to be here. Uh, in terms of uh, what we can do, it's a lot more flexible in regards to uh, a buffet than uh, an a la carte experience. We can do a lot more in regards to food offering. Sure. How large of a group can we accommodate here? Oh, wow. I've seen events for as large as 250 
so it's it's sizable. And then you got know there's plenty of smaller rooms as well that you, you want to have a small group for 15 or 20. It's easy it's enough a, to It's do. a wonderful catering space. I mean, in terms of outdoor venues, I think we have one of the more premium venues in the area. I mean, we have the two uh, ponds out there, which set the background for most weddings. The wonderful bridge, which everyone that's in a wedding wants to take their picture on the on the bridge. We have a sort of rustic look of the the great room, which is which is absolutely excellent and, and lends itself to formal uh, social uh, events uh, as well as uh, corporate events. You've got experience in country clubs. Yes, I do. What drew you to South River? Wow. I know you said you wanted to be a little bit. The commute. The commute. What, what was uh, attractive about the club? The club in and of itself, and I can tell you, yeah, I can tell you, in terms of working uh, at, the, at some of the top-rated country clubs in the area, the amenities we offer here pound for pound outweigh those of what I, I am used to seeing, particularly the health club, particularly the, the restrooms, particularly the outdoor space and how well it's maintained. That's what drew me. Essentially, when I looked at the two ponds, I knew I was in. Uh, and certainly when I saw the sim room, that blew my mind because that was just something uh, that I had not uh, seen anywhere else. And actually, we've had clubs come out to, to look at our sim, sim room. Well, that's a good sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. a good sign. Oh, yeah. All right, so what do you want to tell me about the bistro? What do you want to tell me about the food here at South River? Well, in it's, terms all, it's, all, it's all you right now. <laughs> it is. Members want to be here. It's no longer about the golfing experience more than it is the social experience. And, and members are beginning to see that the club offers a total value in regards to their membership and not just let me play 18 or 9 holes and head for my car. It's a lot more uh, of an electric environment. Well, I'll tell you what, Chef Daniel, thank you very, very much I for thank your you. time. Thank you and, so much. Um, I look forward to calling you out and trying that burger. Nah, here's the good food. Thank you, sir. Up next, the guy that's going to help me work off all of those potentially decadent calories. We've got the director of fitness with us, Jesse Cooper. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing today? Good. Kind of a gray day when we're recording here. So uh, <laughs> not too many people are probably hitting the links, but uh, you probably have enough people down mm -hmm. in the fitness center, I imagine. Well, you know what? We have some very committed golfers, so I, would, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a few of them in there with their uh, tops up and everything else. And uh, yeah, and we've been rocking and rolling in the fitness center since I think I've been in here since 6 a.m. this morning. So, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, it's my prior experience with any kind of a country club set was with my grandfather. OK, and they had golf. Yeah, they had swimming. And they might have had tennis in the country club set back then. And we've always said in several of these episodes that it's not your father's or your grandfather's country club. Right. You know, a fitness center, I mean, I don't even know whether they existed back in the 60s or 70s. But that's certainly <laughs> an amenity that you know, needs to be had here. And that was, I know, something that they added on to this club after they privatized it. And Yeah, um, the fitness center was just put in in uh, 2012. So it's only a few years old. Uh, state of line, state of art equipment and everything else. But uh, I think back... In the day, it was uh, most golfers didn't think that it was necessary to work out. They thought that working out or lifting weights and stuff like that might swing negatively swing, swing the club and sipping the <laughs> sipping the scotch was enough. <laughs> yeah, it was enough, and they didn't want to lift weights because it might affect their swing. But you know, times have changed, and now uh, actually, probably 70, 80 percent of the top golfers in the world all have like personal trainers, full you know fitness staffs and everything else with them. Well, you, know? you mentioned personal trainers as the fitness director. I mean, what what is your role here at the golf club at South River? Uh, just coming up with all the fitness programming, so I put together classes and everything else for the members. We do a couple of uh, abdominal core classes during the week. We do a full body boot camp on Saturdays. So putting those together for the members, we do kids boot camps whenever that when the kids are out of school. We do a kids boot camp and get them in here for a few hours, give the parents a chance to get out on the links. Okay, so this is this is a full blown uh, and I you know we'll say fitness center or a gym here. Yes, uh, that, that you've got. This is not just a bunch of machines thrown in a corner room and Jesse sitting down in the corner office waiting for somebody to say, hey, you know, am I lifting this right? Oh, no, this is uh, we're fully equipped. I take a lot of pride in everything I have down there. I, I tell people it's, it's a it's a small space, but I uh, try to bring in as many toys as I can. If someone does come in and they don't see something that they want, if they let me know, I'll either come up with that exercise or I will find it for them. But uh, we're fully, fully equipped down there. Who uses the fitness center here? Is it is it pretty much a wide range of the members or is do you have people that just are 
fitness? Uh, we have so we have both. So we have uh, the depending on different memberships, but we have some of the full members and everything who are, are do golf and everything else. They use the gym because I'm also I'm Titleist uh, Performance Institute certified, TPI certified, uh, level two. So I work with the golfers as well and helping them get their most efficient swing. So a lot of the golfers come in and work with me. But outside of that, I work with some of the young athletes in the neighborhood. I also work with just general population, anybody who wants to work out, lose weight. I do health and fitness challenges and 42 week challenges or six week. I know I had seen a newsletter down in the lobby or outside of the bistro that there was a, I don't know whether it was a fitness challenge or whatnot, but you had highlighted some people that you had worked with to, you know, lose weight or to get into shape and whatnot. So that's, uh, you know, that's all available here. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Um, yeah. Last year I uh, was I had the uh, honor to work with uh, the Salzman, who were members here. And uh, about, let's see, in February, uh, Mark hit his 100 pound weight loss mark. And Kelly, she's lost uh, just over 70 pounds in about the same time. So they've been yeah, they've been really good. We've done they've uh, trained with me and they've done some of my nutritional challenges and everything else just showing them how to eat properly. So it's it's been great. They've and been then a new success. that would answer my next question is that it jumps over into nutrition as well. Yes, yes. So I try to, you know, help them and show them how to do the proper thing, meal prepping and eating properly and everything else like that. Whenever they make it down from the bistro. <laughs> what's what's, the, what's the most rewarding the thing for the director of fitness? Oh, man. Um, you know, I really got into this myself. Just um, I was really overweight when I first got into fitness. And once I went through, I was over 300 pounds when I first got in. And once I you went yourself? through. Yes, me, myself. And I lost over 100 pounds myself. So I've done it. And once I lost it, it just uh, I wanted to help other people to, you know, go get through the same thing and help them. So being here, it's allowed me to work with people. And I've had, like I said, some great success stories. So that's the most beneficial thing, just being able to help people. You're, you're a fairly, fairly big guy. Was your 300 pounds, was that overweight or was it, that? It was. was I was almost almost 30 percent body fat at the time. So I peaked out at 303 pounds when and I was not working out. I was just hanging out. All right. I'm putting you, know, I'm putting you on the spot. I put Michael Thomas on the spot with golf in our third episode. You've had tremendous success personally with weight loss and whatnot. Give me one thing, the one thing that I should concentrate on to get me started on the way back into getting back into shape. Oh, man. So, man, that's a tough one just because we haven't talked about it. But probably the first thing I would tell I would uh, have you look at is we would look at your eating and just, you know, there's some little tweaks that we could probably make that you would see huge gains from. And then just uh, get you in the gym and see what you can and cannot do. But it would take an assessment for me to really... <laughs> That, yeah. sound, that sounds great. In your in your experience, you've been here since 2012, which is a long time. Yes. So I've been here for six years. I, 2012, when the club was transitioning over and they were doing all the renovations. So I came in just before the fitness center was complete and helped set up, set it all up and everything else. So you designed else. that pretty much your, yeah. to, to yeah. yourself. Yeah, I was, I was all part of that. And prior to this, did you have a background in fitness? Yeah. So I've been in uh, personal training and fitness since 2000. Um, so I started August 2000. I got my first certification and I've been training ever since. I've done personal training consulting. So I've gone to other gyms and jumpstarted their personal training programs. I've been part of a, had a Gold's Gym franchise. I've pretty much done everything in the fitness industry. That's and, almost 20 yeah. years, man. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a veteran by. and I love it. <laughs> goes, 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 goes by really quick. Yeah. Jesse Cooper, the fitness director here at the Golf Club at South River. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. And um, who knows, you might see me down there. Hey, looking forward to it. I'll be looking out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks care. for having me. And before we leave, I wanted to bring back our two first guests. We've got John Barish, the general manager, and Beth Prensky, the membership director for the Golf Club at South River, just for a few words. And before we get into it, I just want to say thank you guys both for letting me dig around here. I would say the skeletons, but we didn't find any, but uh, at the Golf Club at South River. Thing. But secondly, uh, you know, and maybe this is even first, but congratulations on 10 years. That's no easy feat. And you've done a remarkable job with everybody that we seem to have spoken with. Well, thank you, John, and, and thank you for taking the time to listen to us. It's very easy for us to get going on and on, and, and you may have gotten a taste of that from everybody who talked about the club, is we're all very passionate about the Golf Club of South River, and we can talk about it all day long. What you've heard over the last six episodes, honestly, is real. 
You guys set us up on a table and said, see, and you had other golf business stuff to attend to. Very true. Um, we weren't even here. What did they say? I'm not going to tell. tell you. Oh, okay. I'll tell no, you. You have to, you have have to, have to, to find out when it comes out. Okay. You know, we have talked to members. We've talked to pretty much all aspects of this. We've talked to the golf. We've talked to the management between you two, uh, the food service, <laughs> fitness, family members, single members, and founding members. Uh, and we even talked to the guy that writes the checks and wrote the first check way back when, yeah, when 10 years ago, to actually get us all started, Lex Bernie. The man behind the idea, right. And quite an idea it was. Well, here we are 10 years in, and we were just talking to Lex this week about the vision for the next 10, 20, 30 years. So I heard he's bringing an very... amusement park. Oh, we didn't hear that either. <laughs> you know everything. You know all the details. Yeah, there's going to be a roller coaster on this, right oh, on the eighth hole. I'm scared of roller coasters. So. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there's not going to, just, just for rumors, I know they said there was going to be a Ferris wheel in Annapolis. Yeah. That's not happening. There's no roller coasters on the golf course. No. At the golf we'll make improvements, but no roller coasters. <laughs> Beth, you've offered for people to come out. Yes, I I would love to invite you to come out to the club and experience a day as a member. For us, what that would mean is treat you to a meal, some golf and camaraderie. Make sure to connect with us. And I know that we've offered our website and and we'll give a phone number at the end of uh, the podcast. But I would highly encourage you if you're looking to add to your lifestyle and to have some fun starting in the summer and beyond. Uh, We're a year round club and we have many different amenities for you to enjoy as you've heard whether it's golf, fitness, dining, et cetera. And uh, we look forward to meeting you. So please come out. Let me treat you to do a day of golf and dining and take it from there. Yes, uh, please join us. We've done our best to describe to your ears what this place is about. But until you've been here and you've experienced it firsthand, you've met the members, you get a chance to meet the staff, feel the vibe. Uh, see the activity for yourself, participate in it. A, a wonderful, wonderful time that our members have here when, when they're gathering together or just playing golf or focused on working out. So uh, please join us and, and come out and see what we're about. Well, that's uh, bringing the other senses in. You've got the the ears. Now we need to bring in the visual yeah, and we're the trying taste. to paint a picture, but they might need to come out to really and visualize that. And according to Chef Daniel, that burger is pretty good. It is. We, one of us eats it on a daily basis here, here in the <laughs> office, so we can attest for that as well. Well, thank you guys very much again for your hospitality, for letting us come out here, crawl around in the uh, golf club at South River, and really see what it's all about. And I do encourage everybody to come, in, come and check it out. Um, I do want to thank you for taking a few minutes to learn about the golf club at South River. And if you missed the other episodes, go back and have a listen. We spoke with the CEO of the Brick Companies who actually built the club, Lex Bernie, the director of golf, Michael Thomas, a variety of of members. We talked to number four, the founding member, Paul Matthews. And today we wrapped it up with Chef Frederick Daniel and Jesse Cooper, who is the director of fitness. And if the series has intrigued you just a little bit, come on out, listen to Beth. It's so convenient and play around on them, have a burger in their bistro and really check out the fitness center and the members and see how the golf club at South River can really fit into your family. The golf club at South River welcomes you to be a member for a day. Enjoy a round of casual golf, meet our members and staff, and enjoy the private club lifestyle as our guest. Call for your visit today. Beth is ready to show you around. 410-798-6004. 410-798-6004.